If your kids like to work out, have we got a personal trainer? If they're learning the alphabet, we can make it as easy as ABC. And when it's time to share, I'll only play with it for a minute. No, Zoe. Everybody gets a turn on Sesame Street with all new home videos that are full of new ways for your kids to count, to dance, and to learn. Plus book and tape sets and audio for new ways to read and listen. From Sesame Street, the place where the laughter and the learning never end. Play it again, Mom. Sesame Street Home Videos and Audio. Award-winning and original entertainment. Created especially for young imaginations. From Sony Wonder. Your favorite Sesame Street songs can go with you wherever you go. CDs and cassettes from Sony Wonder are perfect for the car, at the beach, or anywhere your family wants to tune in to fun. Everybody knows kids love to dance, and we've got the tunes that'll keep their feet tapping. You'll find sing-along favorites the whole family will enjoy. These Sesame Street classics continue to top the charts with kids. With Sesame Street, laughter and learning go hand in hand. And don't forget, kids can always find their favorite characters on Sesame Street. Look for Sesame Street audio on CD and cassette and take them along for the ride. Only from Sony Wonder. Hey, that looks good.
happy. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. How do you dance? Music! <laughs> dancing too. Yeah, Elmo's friend Victor and Shelby went to a dance school to learn a very special kind of dancing. Tap dancing! And Elmo really loves tap dancing, so they told Elmo all about it. Victor and Shelby have to wear special shoes for tap dancing. Shoes that have taps on the bottom. They make a tapping sound when you dance in them. Hear that? Shelby and Victor were learning to tap dance. And their teacher wanted to show them a new step. But tap dancing is harder than it looks. So the teacher showed Victor and Shelby how to do it again. Shelby and Victor tried it again. And again. They practiced so much, they learned a new dance step. Then Victor and Shelby were very happy. And the teacher was happy too. And that's how Elmo's friends learned to tap dance. Elmo's very proud of them. Too. 
How can I not do that? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Oma can watch the dancing channel. <laughs> the dance channel, all dancing all the time. Give us 22 minuets, we'll give you the waltz. Is everybody ready to learn a new dance? Well, step right up, because today's new dance is the Hokey Pokey. Okay now, dance fans, watch me and do what I do. And before you can say okie dokie, you'll be doing the Hokey Pokey. You put your foot in, you put your foot out, you put your foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the okey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You're getting it, dance fans. Come on now, everybody. You put your hand in, you put your hand out. You put your hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. OK, let's do the noses. You put your nose in, you put your nose out, you put your nose in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. One more time. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you it's all about. That's it, dance fans. Now you know how to do the hokey pokey. Stay tuned for Let's Flamenco and Other Dances here on the Dance Channel. All dancing, all the time. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you, Spawn and Daisy, and very good dancing. <laughs> look, 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 look. Dorothy's imagining Elmo dancing. This dance is called the flamenco. This dance is called the hula. is Elmo's favorite dance of all. It's called the twirl around and fall down dance. <laughs> Elmo's favorite dance.
monster? Feel that with your hand? Feel. Nice. The end. Cookie, cheese, cabbage, carrots, cracker, milk, pretzel, popcorn. Darty, this how I read my first Reader, put down the ducky. Thank you, Dorothy. Now, Elma will ask a baby. Hmm. Hi, baby. How do you read a book? Here. Here you go. Thank you, baby. <laughs> and now, Elmo has a question for you. <laughs> How many books will fill up ah, this bookshelf? Let's count them and see. Oh, there's a basketball book. Oh, there's a horsey book. Two. There's dancing people book. Three. Oh, oh, a bird book. Boy, that was great counting and loud. <laughs> oh, Elmo knows some other things about books. <laughs> who reads books and who doesn't read books? Watch this. Oh, draw. <laughs> Pineapples don't read books. Don't read books. But 
you can read a book about cats to your cat. Birthday cakes don't read books, <laughs> but you can get a book for a birthday present. Nice. <laughs> Beds don't read books, but you can read books in bed. I love reading books. Uh, uh. Some of Elmo's other friends read books, too. Elmo's friend Michael went to get a book the other day. He went with his daddy to the library. He told Elmo all about it. Michael loves dinosaurs. He wanted to find out more about them. So he and his daddy went to the library. A library is a place where there are lots and lots of books about all kinds of things. Michael looked for the books about dinosaurs. Michael looked and looked. There are books about whales and books about balloons. <laughs> and books with stories about giants and beanstalks. And then they found a whole bunch of books about dinosaurs. At the library, you can borrow books that are fun to read and take them home with you for free. You have to have a library card, though, and they let you know when you have to bring them back. And then you take them home, and you read them. And that's how Elmo's friend Michael got books from the library. Happy reading, Michael! He wants to know more about books. How can Elmo find out more? Hmm. 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 Oh. oh, yeah! That's right! Elmo can watch the book channel on TV! <laughs> Welcome to the book channel. Paging all books. You need them, we read them. Today's book is The Girl Who Loved Books. The Girl Who Loved Books. Once upon a time, there was a girl who loved books. I love books. She loved books so much, she read books in the morning while she brushed her teeth. I love books. She loved books so much, she read while walking. I love books. She loved books so much, she wore a book for a hat and book buttons on her coat, and books on her feet. And she even carried a pocket book, in which she kept a book. I love books. She lived in a house made of books, and at night she slept in a bed made of books. And I bet you know what she dreamed about. Rabbits. Well, I love rabbits, too. The end. Phew, a book. I love books. The girl who loved books. Once upon a time, there was a girl who loved books. Stay tuned to the Book Channel for Our Miss Books, starring Book Shields. Wait, wait, wait. Elmo wants to learn more about books. Oh, where can Elmo learn more? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about talking to a book? Yeah, Elmo can talk to a book. I can open and close. Neat. This on the outside, that's my cover. Wow, the cover. <laughs> and inside, I'm full of pages. Yeah, a lot of pages. Wow, Elmo sees pictures. Hey, I'm a picture book. Wait a minute, uh -huh. open again. Oh, Elmo sees words, too. Well, some picture books have words. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages. Wh who are you? I am a book about the circus. Yeah, he's filled with stories about the circus. There are books about everything. Wow, everything. Oh, oh, look, look, look. Dorothy's a 
Imagine Elmo in a circus. In a circus. Boop. can learn about cowboys from books. Elmo's an old cow hen. Yippee yay day ho! <laughs> cowboy Elmo whooped a cactus. Good roping, cowboy Elmo. <laughs> you can learn about dragons and monsters from books. I am a dragon. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Sir Elmo's a monster. A monster? And that's not all. There are books about everything. Ah. Well, I gotta run, Elmo. I'm due back at the library, you know. Oh. Bye, book! <laughs> wow. Books are fun to read. Oh, Elmo wanted to see Dorothy read a book. So, Elmo made a video with this camera. It's called <clears throat> Dorothy Reads a Book by Elmo. <laughs> Oh, very nice, TV. <laughs> Dorothy loves reading books about whales. <laughs> yeah, don't you, Dorothy? <laughs> She's a speed reader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. <laughs> Play with a drum, Mr. Noodle! 
This is how I play a drum. Dorothy, this is how I play a drum. Dorothy, this is how I play the drums. Music 
by tapping on glasses filled with water. Hannah thought that was cool. So did Jesse. Yeah. Then Jesse made music by putting some rubber bands around a box and wiggling his fingers across the strings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Last of all, Elmo's friend Hannah made music by hitting a pot with a spoon. <laughs> Ruben thought that sounded silly. <laughs> then they all played together. Wow. <laughs> Catchy tune. I love school. <laughs> Now, for a golden oldie, the very first music played in the entire world ever. Hmm. Once upon a time, millions of years ago, there wasn't any music. As a matter of fact, there wasn't any talking either. <laughs> the only sounds were sounds like the sound of a stream rushing by, or the wind whistling through the trees. The sound of thunder in the sky. And of course, there was grunting. Plenty of grunting. But there was no music. But then one day, out for a walk, a cave person came upon a hollow stick. The cave person blew into the hollow stick. And the cave person liked the sound it made. So the cave person took the hollow stick back home to his cave and practiced blowing. Then he blew it for the family, and the family liked the sounds too. So they called to the neighbors and they grunted with delight. Soon the stick player was joined by a hollow log player and a lead grunter. Together, they were the very first band playing the very first music. So from then on, every Tuesday night, everyone would gather round and listen. Oh, the oh, end. Oh, oh. Stay tuned for The Music Man, The Sound of Music, and Name That Tune. <laughs> Thank you, TV. But I want us to learn more about music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you oh. want to know about music? I'll tell you about music. I'm an accordion. Well, does an accordion make music too? Accordion to everyone who plays me, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I've got these great keys and buttons you press to play me. Oh, can Emma play you? Oh, of course. Oh, good. Hey, nothing happened. No mm. music. Well, of course not. You didn't stretch my bellows. Huh? Wow. Or squeeze it. Well, Elmo loves your bellow. Mm. Oh, Elmo has a belly, see? See? <laughs> and by here is a belly button. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's not all, kid. I can play soft. Oh, pretty. And I can play loud. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I can play high notes. Wow. And I can play low notes. That's low. <laughs> and you know what, kid? What? There are lots more instruments that people can make music with. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me, That's 
a clarinet. Oh. Oh, oh, look, look, look. Look, look over there. Dorothy is imagining Elmo playing a clarinet. Hmm. There's the drums. And my buddy the banjo. And my friend the trumpet. See, there's all kinds of great music in the world, kid. Yeah. Enjoy it. Well, see ya. <laughs> Bye, accordion. <laughs> Bye, accordion. Bye. Elmo loves making music. You know, Elmo can, can even make music by just doing this. Visit Sesame Street on the web at www.sesamestreet.com. Your child will love learning with Sesame Street Magazine, and you'll love Sesame Street Parents. It's written just for parents of preschoolers. Call toll-free 1-888-419-0425 for information on ordering. Look for these great products from Sesame Street. 
Get ready to take a trip to Grouchland with Sesame Street and Sony Wonder. First, check out the adventures of Elmo and Grouchland Sing and Play, new on home video. It's a trashy, tuneful treat with nine Sesame Street songs, including three from Elmo's new movie, The Adventures of Elmo in Grouchland. Plus, it's got bonus footage, an episode of the hugely popular Sesame Street segment, Elmo's World, which has never been available on video before. <laughs> Then there's the Adventures of Elmo and Grouchland soundtrack on CD and cassette, featuring performances by Vanessa Williams and Tatiana Ali. Plus, as an extra treat, Elmo also personally recounts all of his Grouchland adventures. Once you've been to Grouchland, you'll never want to come back. So stay a little longer with the Adventures of Elmo and Grouchland sing and play on home video and the movie soundtrack. For down and dirty fun, Sesame Street style. What's your favorite song? Bob Bob Black Sheep is my favorite song. <laughs> Next to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in the Alphabet Song. <laughs> what am I going to do? You don't need to choose with kids' favorite songs. New on home video from Sesame Street and Sony Wonder. It's a countdown of nine all-time favorites that's sure to hit a high note with everyone in your family. Row, row, row your boat. I've been working on the railroad. Take 15 sing-along treats with you wherever you go with kids' favorite songs on CD and cassette. I've got it! I know what my favorite song is! With the best love tunes on kids' favorite songs, you'll always have something to sing about. It's Elmo Palooza! Elmo Palooza, a song-packed video, CD, and cassette with everybody's favorite monster of ceremonies and an all-star cast of friends. Sing, 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 uh, sing, sing. Laughter and Sesame Street fun for the whole family. Elmo Palooza. Buy it now on video, CD, and cassette from Sony Wonder. It's Elmo's world. Hmm, I think I'm gonna make a train. Inspire the creativity in your child with Create and Draw in Elmo's World CD-ROM. <laughs> now even the silliest of squiggles magically comes to life <laughs> from Sesame Street. Look for these great products from Sesame Street. Oh no, while out on a shopping trip, Big Bird and Maria get separated in Big Bird Gets Lost, the latest addition to the Kids Guide to Life series. Me lost? <laughs> I thought it was you who was lost. Luckily, Academy Award winner Frances McDormand is on hand with helpful advice that reunites the two shoppers in time for Snuffy's Big Birthday Bash. And there's more helpful advice on Ernie Gets Lost, the new Kids Guide to Life book and tape set. In it, Ernie shows children how to avoid losing their way and what to do when they get separated from a parent or caregiver. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Growing up can be a little easier with Sesame Street's Kids Guide to Life series with two all-new stories. Is it a story about the circus? No, it's about a whole lot more. Elmo and guest star Dennis Quaid help Telly learn all about telling the truth in this new, totally original video. And on book and tape, the Emperor's New Fur teaches that telling the truth is the noble thing to do. Collect the other titles in the series, Learning to Share on video cassette and Big Bird's Band Plays Together on book and tape. You can count on Ernie to make learning numbers a musical delight. He's dropping by the Furry Arms Hotel to give Humphrey, Ingrid, and Benny the Bunny a song-filled lesson in one, two, three, count with me. It all adds up to a ringing good time. And on CD and audio cassette, you'll have a great time singing along with all your Sesame Street pals on kids' favorite songs, a musical treasury of best love classics. It's time to get silly with Sing Yourself Sillier at the Movies, new on video. Movie reviewers Oscar the Grouch and Telly Monster give the thumbs up and down to eight silly Sesame Street songs. This is a movie that is definitely Oscar worthy. And there's more musical mayhem on video cassette with Sing Yourself Silly. Then jump up and shout with the Count, Bert, Ernie, and Oscar the Grouch to the wacky sing-along fun of silly songs on CD and audio cassette. Now that was silly. What makes exercising really fun? Elmo Size, made exclusively for home video, featuring special guests Cindy Lauper and the Sesame Street Kids, all hopping, stretching, jumping, and laughing their way through a feel-good musical workout no kid can resist. 
What's your favorite Sesame Street song? You'll find it on Sesame Street Platinum All-Time Favorites. It's a fun-filled who's who of Sesame Street superstars singing 20 best-loved hits. Once upon a time, Mother Goose tried to teach her son the art of rhyming. But Simon can't master the subject. What's a mother to do? Find out in the special Sesame Street presentation of William Wegman's Mother Goose, a wry and whimsical retelling of 24 classic nursery rhymes, starring William Wegman's canine companions. I'm glad you liked it, Simon. It's got good rhythm. Only from Sony Wonder. Wherever children's videos, CDs, cassettes, and book and tape sets are sold.